now we will start five marks uh, in second chapter sequence and uh, series of real numbers in the examination they will ask uh, two five mark in this now we will see model paper wise model paper 1 question number 33 find the sum of n terms of the series 7 plus 77 plus 777 plus dot 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 that means we don't know how many terms say this up to n terms that is the meaning now given series is this series whatever they given dot 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 up to n terms now here you have to take 7 as a common factor that means like this if i take 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 1 1 plus dot 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 n terms will come and you have to multiply and divide with 9 that means you divide with 9 if you multiply all these become 9 9 9 9 so that is the thing you should remember everything you have to convert in terms of 9 you have to eliminate 7 because otherwise you cannot use a formula inside that bracket so first 7 you take it as common factor it will come 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 1 1 plus uh, dot 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 n terms so you multiply and uh, divide by 9 so 9 you are multiplying and dividing because you are compensate if you multiply and divide it will cancel so 7 by 9 9 plus 9 9 plus 9 9 9 plus dot 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 so on now these things you convert in form of 10 like 9 i can write 10 minus 1 plus 99 i can write 100 minus 1 plus 999 i can write 1000 minus 1 plus dot 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 n terms that means i am converting nines in form of tens now 10 and all you separate together like this 7 by 9 so now 10 and all you separate 10 plus 100 plus 1000 plus dot 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 n terms minus half now these ones and all you take common minus 1 so 1 plus again 1 plus again 1 plus dot 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 n terms so now this one this series forms gp geometric progression with a first term 10 and common ratio 10 see here a is equal to 10 common ratio r is equal to 10 now there is one formula is there to find sum of n terms a into r to the power of n minus 1 by r minus 1 if r is greater than 1 that means if the common ratio is greater than 1 this is the formula you should use if common ratio less than 1 the reverse you have to remember a into 1 minus r to the power of n by 1 minus r but here common ratio what is common ratio here r t2 by t1 now t2 by t1 is 100 is your second term by t1 first term so 10 so it is greater than 1 so we should use this formula so if you apply this formula for this one what we are going to get 7 by 9 into a value a value first term 10 into r power n what is common ratio 10 so 10 power n minus 1 minus 1 by r minus 1 r minus 1 means 10 minus 1 so apply for this one this 7 by 9 is for both minus listen here 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to n terms means what suppose 3 term, three terms are there 3 times you have to add 1 plus 1 plus 1 suppose 4 terms is there 4 times you have to add 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so yeah, similarly n terms are there n you have to write so suppose 50 terms are there 50 so we don't know how many terms are there so minus a n so these two first one forms a gp with common ratio 10 and first term 10 so you apply this formula this formula used to find the sum of n terms of gp so it becomes 7 by 9 10 into a r power n r is 10 whole power n minus 1 by r minus 1 now if you simplify 7 by 9 if you simplify 10 into 10 power n minus 1 by 10 minus 1 9 minus n now you multiply inside with 7 by 9 
it becomes what 7 into 10 70 70 by 9 nines 81 into 10 power n minus 1 for this term minus 7 by 9 into n like this 7 by 9 into n that is 7 n by 9. So, the, this is your final answer. It is very simple. Only thing is the 7 you convert to you with the, as a 9 by multiplying divide with the 9 you take it as common factor. So, if I take common factor it will come like this 7 into 1 plus 1 like that. So, if you want that step also you can write, but directly also you can write that is up to you. So, you separate it into two series like 10, 100, 1000 plus dot 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 n terms minus of this 1, 1, 1 up to n terms. So, this forms a GP, you apply the formula that is what I explained here. This uh, how many terms are there that means number of terms will come like n. Then if you multiply with 7 by 9, this is your answer. Now, we will see the next problem.